Okay, I finally got my mic set up and thought I'd hop in here and do a little narrating for these next steps. You can see I've already started on the base with the darker gray color. I'll be doing a couple of techniques. Color washing, where the paint is thinned down with water, and some dry brushing. This is what dry brushing looks like. You barely load the paint on your brush, then blot the excess off to a paper towel and lightly brush across the surface to create a feathery look. To color wash, I will spritz the surface with my spray bottle and use my damp towel to manipulate and move the paint around. Just keep playing with it till you get the desired look you're going for. You can also use several colors at the same time, but here I'm just using the one color. Oops, it looks like I took too much off. No problem, just add more till you get it right. That's the beauty of paint, you can always fix it. Once I like the way it looks, I'll take my dry brush again and lightly brush over the area in a few different directions to do some smoothing here and there. This step makes all the difference, so don't skip it. Once I get the fill for it, I'll do this exact process on all the next layers. Make sure to let it dry a minimum of two to three hours or overnight if you like. Here I've moved on to the tabletop using the same technique I did on the base. Because I want that old dough bowl look, I'm applying the paint in every which way direction instead of creating a straight grain effect. There's a better example of this when we get to the next layer. And here's the final result of the first layer. This is obviously too gray compared to my basket I pulled for color inspiration, so we need to lighten it up a bit. I hand mixed all my paint for this project to use what I had on hand, but the two colors that best represent what I've mixed up here is Sherwin-Williams Barnwood Plank and Lenox Hill Tan. Okay, for the top I do the exact same process. Start by lightly misting a small section, apply your paint, Blot it off with your towel and smooth. I'll fast forward a little to show you the whole process. And finally, the final layer, where all the magic happens and we get that aged look. You will need some antiquing gel stain. I used this little bottle I had on hand, and remarkably, I only used about two tablespoons to do the whole tabletop. I started using the sea sponge I used on the base to apply it first, but because this is a much larger area than the base was, you will see me using just the brush and the towel at the end like I did on the Lenox tan color. It's all about playing around with it. After I got my technique down, it only took about 10 minutes to finish. After this layer dried, I did decide to dry brush some straight graining on. I didn't get that part recorded, but you will see it in the reveal.
And step six, protect your project. Before we get to that exciting reveal, all you need to do now is protect your piece by applying a sealer. Since this is a table and will get lots of use, I applied three coats. You can use any brand, and for the sheen, I always prefer a matte. And now for the reveal. I staged it with a few decorative pieces and warmed it up with a rug so you could see the contrast. Make sure you hit that bell so you can see this table staged in my new dining room makeover video. So what do you think? Does it resemble the inspiration pics? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So I've been playing around with some colors for the chairs and I'm leaning towards a gray base and changing out the cushions in a nice linen or even a velvet. Let me know your favorites. Here you can see the straight grain brushing effect I added at the last minute. I just felt it needed a little something. I hope this video inspired you and taught you some new techniques you can play around with and try on your own projects. So like always, subscribe and click the bell and I'll see you back here when I post again. Love you all and take care.